Okay, we're now recording. Hello, Seton family. Um, thanks for being with us today for this time of meditation. Uh, what we're going to do today is a very simple kind of meditation where we're just going to uh, rest together in silence. And I'll lead us through that uh, after a time. It's going to be based on uh, the theme from a very beautiful Easter story in the Gospels, however. And we're not going to read through that story. It's a rather lengthy one. Um, but I'm going to have the passage, the chapter and verse up on the screen. If you'd like to read through that during the time of meditation, that's fine. Just need a Bible of your own and you can do that. Or you can just sit in silence as we, as we meditate together. As the story goes, uh, it's the first day of Easter, the evening of the first day. And Jesus is risen from the dead. He'd been crucified, but no one was quite on board with that yet. They weren't right, really ready to believe that. And a couple of his friends, disciples, were walking down the road from Jerusalem to a town called Emmaus. And they're clearly distraught. They're hopeless. They're down and out. And along comes this traveler who begins to walk with them. And as he walks, he asks, what's the matter? He can see that something is not right. And these men begin to explain how they put all their hope in this Jesus as the Messiah, the Savior, the one who is going to make everything right with the people of Israel. And that now he'd been crucified and was dead. All their hopes were dead as well. And this traveler does something interesting. He begins to unpack for them all the prophecies of the Old Testament and all the things that had to do with the Messiah. And he explained to them how all these things had to happen just as they did and how the Messiah would suffer but would rise again from the dead on the third day. And they were so intrigued that when they got to their home in Emmaus, they invited him in to have dinner with them and even asked this guest to do the blessing. And it was at that moment when this traveler lifted up the bread to bless it, that their eyes were opened and they recognized that it was Jesus, the risen Jesus in their midst, right with them, and he had always been with them on the road. You know, every time we celebrate the Eucharist or Holy Communion, we have that same experience. Our eyes are opened and we see Jesus in that bread and wine. And we remember how he suffered, poured out his life for us, and lives in us now. But not only that, but all our sufferings are caught up in that and united to that as well. And made into something new. This time of coronavirus that we're all in, this strange time, uh, is a time of great uncertainty for people on so many different levels. We're all experiencing a bit of that in different ways. And it can lead to anxiety, it can lead to fears, questions, doubts, even doubts about God. Is God doing this to us? Why is God allowing this? Does God care? Is God even there? And that's kind of our mistake, isn't it? Because just like these disciples on the road, God is not there. God is right here alongside us. And even like communion, God is not just alongside us, but right within us. Not the one giving us this suffering, but the one who's come to walk it with us, to suffer it with us, and to be at the depths of our being. And so the challenge is, and the invitation is, to believe that in ever deeper ways, not with our head, but with our heart, and to really simply rest in that truth, that Jesus, who suffers with us and who is risen from the dead and conquers all that, is with us. And so this, this prayer, this simple prayer of the heart in silence that we're going to do today is one where just like the disciples 
uh, going to Emmaus who invited Jesus in. We don't have to invite God in. In fact, it's God who's at the center of our being. He's inviting us to go deeper, to go to the center where he waits for us to break bread, to be with us in a very intimate kind of way. And so come as you are, uh, whether you're suffering, whether you're anxious or afraid, whether you're joyous, whether you're at rest and peace this during this Easter time, come as you are and just be with us in meditation today. What we're going to do in a moment is I'll lead us through some kind of simple exercises in the beginning with words as we calm ourselves down and begin to rest in meditation. And then uh, you'll see on the screen just an, an icon, an image of Jesus on the road to Emmaus with these disciples with that scripture verse. If you'd like to read those verses during that silent time, that's fine. If you just want to rest in a kind of centered silence, resting in God, you can do that. Um, you can also leave anytime you want. I'll, I'll probably just stay here for about 15 minutes and meditate and then end it at a certain point. If you need to leave before that, that's okay. We've got you. We're with you in spirit and you're with us and all is well. So let's begin. I'm just going to change the screen and hopefully you can see that image. So let's take a moment to Sit in an upright but comfortable position. And just to be at rest. To begin to pay attention to your breath as it comes in, as it goes out. Often I like to say that God is closer to us than our own breathing. It's a beautiful image of God who is so close to us, so inside us, closer to us than we are to ourselves. So as we breathe, let's breathe in that risen presence of Jesus, alive and in us. And as we breathe out, breathe out that same presence in peace. And if and when you become distracted by other thoughts or feelings, noises, sensations, whatever they may be, just gently come back to that breathing, breathing in the presence of God, the presence of love, of Christ, and breathing it out again. You may wish even to use this as a prayer for others, to breathe in that presence of love of Christ and to breathe it out and think of someone whom you wish to give that gift to. So just rest, relax, enjoy this silent time in the presence of the one who walks with us who is with us, alive and well.
Lord Jesus, thank you for being with us, for walking with us through all our experiences, our joys, our sufferings, everything that is our human life. Thank you for conquering all our death by your death and bringing it to life again with your love. Thank you for the time we've spent together in this meditation and help us to take the fruits of that meditation and to share it with everyone through our love. And we ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for being with us today, and I hope you join us on future Mondays for our Monday meditation. God bless, and happy, happy Easter to you.